This is your Fox 10 News Now update. Hi everyone, Eric Reynolds with your Fox 10 News Now update. While several crucial battleground states continue to count ballots in the presidential race, folks around here said that there are so many happy people now that folks exercise their right to vote. More than a day after the last ballot was cast in Mobile, we're seemingly no closer though to knowing who won the presidential election. But some hope that it's an opportunity to come together. Hoping that uh, moving forward from 2020 that people are more willing to reach across the aisle and listen to what the other side has to say. Whoever wins, you know, I have no control over that at this point. So I just hope that it creates more unity than division. We're told that the biggest hurdle with this election is the volume of early votes that are still being counted. We will continue to update the presidential numbers for you on air and online until a winner is decided. One race that has been decided, Mississippi voters overwhelmingly approve the legalization of medical marijuana. The citizen-led Initiative 65 got 74% of the vote and will allow doctors to prescribe marijuana for 22 conditions. It requires a medical marijuana program be put in place by August of 2021. We're continuing to keep track of the coronavirus pandemic. Alabama's death toll from the virus now exceeding some 3,000. The Alabama Department of Public Health reporting yesterday that 3,006 people in the state have died from the coronavirus since the start of the crisis. Now that's an increase of about 17 from just a day earlier. Alabama health leaders say that about 16, actually 1,850 new cases of COVID-19 were reported and more than 1,020 people are now hospitalized with the illness caused by the virus. The Mobile County Health Department reporting 103 new cases and Baldwin County reporting 66 new cases yesterday. Health leaders say the pandemic is worsening in the state as officials weigh whether to extend a mandatory mask order. It's set to expire on Sunday. The Alabama Hospital Association is supporting an extension of the mask requirement. Alabama Governor Kay Ivey is expected to hold a news conference later this morning. Lake Shelby at Gulf State Park closing down for a few months to get a massive makeover. Even as the Gulf Shores area continues clean up from Hurricane Sally, $4 million worth of improvements are about to begin. The park will include a bike share station, tram stop, new boat ramps, playgrounds and dog parks. As for a timeline, the city leaders are saying that it's going to be at least a few months. As for the fishing pier, it will be more than a year, though, before repairs will be complete. However, park leaders say that they hope to have the existing section open for fishing sometime this winter. With your Fox 10 storm track report, clouds are actually rolling back in. We've had the sky cloudless for the last several days, but today we'll call it partly sunny. No rain expected. Showers will stay well to our south, but we will get shower chances back in here by Saturday. Let's talk about Ada, which right now is a tropical depression over Central America and made landfall in Nicaragua as a monster category four hurricane. And now it's just a shadow of its former self moving northwest at eight and the maximum sustained winds are only at 30, but the problem is tomorrow it recurves and moves back into the Caribbean. Once that happens, it will re-strengthen back to a tropical storm, and by the time we hit early next week, it's expected to be near the Bahamas and near South Florida. So late Monday night, Key West, Miami, Fort Myers, they could be dealing with either a strong tropical storm or a category one hurricane, and you still see how large the cone is, meaning that we could have Ada all the way on the eastern side of Florida or possibly staying to the south of Cuba. It's just something we'll have to be watching and following over the next several days. Weather headlines for your Thursday. We stay dry. We keep tracking Ada. Weekend weather, not bad, but a few scattered showers do return on Saturday. But for today and tomorrow, expect the sky to be partly sunny with most of the rain staying offshore. We get into the weekend and that's when scattered shower opportunities will work their way back in across the Gulf Coast, but nothing that should cause you to have to cancel any outdoor plans. Here's how the next seven days stack up. Mid to upper 70s for highs the next few days, but look, that colder air is going to be gone starting tomorrow. Mornings jump to the mid 60s Sunday and Monday morning, and we see high temperatures getting back into the lower 80s 
next week. We'll talk more weather throughout the day right here on Fox 10 News Now. Stay tuned to Fox 10 News throughout the day for the latest updates. This has been your Fox 10 News Now update.